Hello ladies and gentlemen, your captain speaking from flight deck. My name is Captain Surinder Singh. Welcome aboard the plane talking. Sit back, relax and enjoy your journey. So, so far we have studied depending upon the construction either projections are perspective or non-perspective and we saw the perspective how we place the sheet they are further divided into three categories that is cylindrical conical or zenithal projection so let's see first cylindrical projection so what do we do we draw all those graticules latitude, longitude, okay, and in the center we have light source and we put sheet in the form of a cylinder. So basically the sheet is touching at can't touch career equator. So this is point of tangency that is where the sheet is touching. Okay, we draw all the graticule everything whatever we need and then we project it. Okay, and then we cut open the cylinder. Now let us see how it comes. So, I need a volunteer. Any volunteer? You will be featuring in the video. Any volunteer? Kukhudi Ajo, come. So, what we do? Hold it. This is graticules, okay. Light source, and I put sheet in the form of cylinder. Stay there only. Okay. I take this. Ah, see that will say like a cylinder, correct? That is how you placed it. Okay. And now you switch on light. Just imagine how the projection will come. You check you jada agya ja bhai. Okay. So how the projection will come? Just imagine. You have equator like this. Correct? That is how the equator will come. What about uh, meridians? Meridians will come like this. Correct? Straight lines. That is how this meridian will come. Okay. And this is equator. What about the projection of poles? Extreme kahan par? Okay, let us say, just see here. Poles ka projection kahan aega? Upar kahan par? Huh? Okay, where? Poles projection. You cannot see poles. People say infinity. Then go to infinity and fly there. Basically, the poles cannot be shown and that will be the biggest drawback of this projection. Are you understanding? So normally people keep reading books, try to remember something, properties of projection, but they are very simple. If I have to see the properties of this projection, meridians are parallel straight line, but are they like this on the globe? No. On the globe, if you will find these meridians are converging towards north pole and in the south, in southern hemisphere, they converge towards south pole. So, that is the first penalty which you see. You are trying to create a round thing on the flat sheet. Your meridian is already distorted if you look at them. They are not shown correctly. On actual earth, what happens? These meridians are converging. If you look at the globe, all this meridian, 360 meridian, they converge at in northern hemisphere at the north pole. In southern hemisphere, they converge towards the, but are they converging here? Okay, that is the problem of this projection. And the second problem is obviously 
poles cannot be shown now coming to this parallel of latitudes khade hue longitude lete hue latitude so this is meridians okay how this parallel of latitude will come like this that's that's how this parallel of latitude will come okay thank you so i cut open this cylinder correct and i spread it like this now it is a very interesting thing you have projection of the parallel of latitude like this correct these are meridians okay now let's see if these are the parallel of latitude 10 degree north 20 degree north 30 degree north 40 so on and this projection is going on the sheet above the equator a very interesting i would say concept when we talk about projection okay in the sense let's say i want to create a projection you need a light source you need a side, you need a sheet and you need the object which you need to project in this what i am trying to do i am trying to project this okay 10 degree 20 degree 30 degree that's how this area i am trying to project now let's say this is the pen object this is the sheet light source and i need to create a projection of this object or the area whatever now this pen is touching the sheet what is the size of this projection same okay if you can't see okay let me put it here this way is better correct what is the sheet of this projection same as the size of the pen or the area of what you are projecting but as this pen is going away from the sheet what is happening to the projection size creasing kya creasing decreasing increasing it's very simple and this is the concept which will be valid for any projection because the moment the sheet goes away from the earth's surface the size of the proje projection will start increasing where it will be correct Where, wherever it is touching in this projection it is touching at equator okay again i am reminding this is the area is this size will change anywhere let's say this pen is whatever 6 cm 7 cm or 7 inches okay is the size is changing and this is the sheet on which i want to take a projection when it is touching here the size of the projection is same now as this area which i am projecting it is going my light is not moving sheet is also not moving what is happening only thing the area which you are projecting it is going away from the sheet the size of projection is increasing this is the concept for all the projection if you have to see where the scale is correct wherever the sheet is touching in this projection it is touching at equator so there the scale will correct if you go away from the equator the same area will start expanding increasing in the sense let's say this is 10 degree north 20 degree north 30 degree north 40 degree north latitude this area is same correct but what is happening to this area which you are projecting and this blue sheet this distance is increasing are you understanding so what will happen let's say this projection is coming here the next one will be this distance will be more further up this distance will be even more why this is the area which you are projecting which is equal and the projection size will continue to increase okay let's say if i open this sheet 
how this projection will come. Let's say I'm just drawing above the equator for your understanding. Okay. Let's say this is equator and above the equator I'm drawing like this. Meridians are parallel straight line, they will be all 360 equidistant from each other. That is how your 360 degree meridian parallel, but on earth surface actually they are not parallel. So, the first deformity. Okay. Now, this is 10 degree north latitude, if I am drawing latitude, let us say this is, so this is your these are your meridians. Okay. And parallel of latitude, let us say this is 10 degree north. What about 20 degree north? The distance will increase. Are you understanding? because as it goes away, the projection size is increasing. So, same distance when the sheet is going, what will happen? The projection size will increase. Like I simple told you, light is there, sheet is there, but the distance of the area which you want to project is increasing from the sheet and the size will increase. So, what about 20 degree north? It will be little more here, correct? So, that is how this will be 20 degree north. So, whatever this 10 degree, this is 20 degree. What about 30 degree? It will be further. And these are your parallel of latitudes. So, let us say if I have to now when I open this chart, how it will appear? When you open this cylinder, meridians equidistant from each other, this is equator 10 degree, 20 degree will be away, 30 degree the distance will increase. Okay. Like I told you, it is a round thing which you are trying to get it on a flat sheet by using a cylinder. So, if I going by the properties as such without reading the books, if you imagine close your eyes, okay, you put a cylinder meridians will be parallel straight line, correct? Parallel of latitude, parallel straight line, not equidistant from each other, distance will increase from equator to pole. Okay. Now, let us say on earth surface, if I had drawn a scale 100, 100, 100 equal, let us say whatever this distance is, let us say this is 100, 100, 100, 100. How the projection will come on the chart? Close to equator, it will be same, 100, 100 in all direction, correct. But what will happen here? Yeah. This is 100, correct. But what about this way? That same 100 nautical mile is expanded, same 100 nautical mile is further expanded. Okay, so, this will appear a, a scare which on earth surface will be shown like this. Is it correct? No, it is not. The shape is distorted because scale is expanding in north south direction. If it was a circle, let us say I had drawn a circle, a country which was perfect circle like this, how it will appear? It will be circle here, either kya ho jayega? it will start expanding in north south direction. Let us say if the country which was at higher latitude like this, how the projection will come? Are you understanding? The scale is expanding in north south direction, 100 nautical mile this way is remaining same, but this way it is expanding. Clear on this? 
Okay. Now, on this projection, if I draw a straight line, we have two lines on a, when we fly either constant direction, which is rumb line or the shortest path. And any time in doubt, if I want to find out whether it is a rumb line or a grid circle, okay, probably this you may not understand, that is okay. But for others, in any case, it will be repeated. So, but for others, it is very simple. If you want to any time in doubt in life, whether it is a rumb line or grid circle, look at it, how it is cutting the meridian. If it is cutting at equal angle, it has to be rumb line. If it is not, it will be grid circle and grid circle is always towards the nearest pole. Okay. So, this line is what? This line is a rumb line because it is cutting all meridian at equal angle. So, on this kind of chart, a straight line is represented a rumb line. A grid circle is always towards the nearest pole. So, the grid circle will appear like what? A line like, like this. So, here you have all the properties of a cylindrical projection in simplified manner. Just imagination, sit in front of a globe, take a paper, make a cylinder, draw it, you are done for your life. You do not need to open any book in your life. But exercise which you require is a globe, a sheet and do the thing. So, properties of this is number one, all the meridians are parallel straight line, not uh, sorry, equidistant from each other. So, all those meridians are parallel straight line 360, equidistant from each other. Parallel of latitudes are parallel straight line, not equidistant from each other, distance between them will increase from equator to poles. Simple logic which I told you. A straight line represents a rumb line. Okay. Great circle is shown as a curved concave towards equator or towards the rumb line. So, a great circle is a curved line, concave to the concave. If that is a simple way to remember cave. So, concave to the equator or rumb line or convex to the nearest pole. Convergence on this chart is 0, because meridians are not converging on this chart. So, there is a problem. Poles cannot be shown. Again, now comes, can I use it for navigation? No, because to use it for navigation, I need, my shape should not be distorted and any projection should have a property called orthomorphism. Okay. That we will see you after the break. What is orthomorphism? See you after the break.